Hello, first grade. Um, ready for some math. Remember, work with me. Don't make me do this alone. I know these numbers, and you do too, so show us. Show us. All right, what number is it? 14, good. What about this one? 28. Okay, how about this one? Yes, 118. And this one? 55, very nice. 42. 76. 109. Nicely done, everybody. All right, I'm going to show you some of those um, tens blocks again. Remember that the whole block is 10. Let's count to confirm that. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10. All together on this card, how many do we have? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. Good, nicely done. Okay, but we don't even need to count it. 33, very good. Let me not give you ones that are in order here. Ooh, how many here? Well, I see four groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 45, nicely done. Okay, and what about here? How many? 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, good. How many here? 21, nicely done. All right, we're going to get on to our lesson. We're going to continue working on adding three numbers together that are in a story. So we're going to be listening to those stories. Get the pictures in your head. That helps when we're working on word problems. Hey, there we are. So our first problem is about one of my favorite things, rocks. So this story is about a boy named John. John had four purple rocks, nine red rocks, and two gray rocks. How many rocks does he have? So we're going to start off and we can write our problem. We know that we're going to have to add four plus nine plus two. That is our problem. Now we're going to draw it. Four red rocks, one, two, three, four. That's pretty handy that I had a red when I did that. Nine, oh, I'm sorry, four purple rocks. So not so handy. Four purple rocks, one, two, three, four. Nine red rocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and two gray rocks, two gray rocks. So the first thing that I need to do is make a group of 10 out of this. Well, I'm gonna start with my largest number nine because that's really close to 10. And if I add one more to it, that gives me 10. Remember when we were working on making 10, if I take one from this, I have one here, and that makes my 10. 10 plus how many more? One, two, three, four, five more. And we can check that with what we did up here. We've got four and then one left, so that's five. All together, he has how many rocks, everyone? Yes, 15 rocks, 15, okay. Let's do one more problem. 
if you can make groups of 10 out of these numbers, then you can really solve most problems. Making a group of 10 is important. It helps us with our counting. It helps us be more accurate. Okay, let's read this problem. Out in the garden, we saw five red birds, seven brown birds, and seven yellow birds. How many birds did we see? So I'm going to write down my problem, and that is five plus seven plus seven. So as I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking about that seven, and I know I need three more in order to make 10. Friends, I hope that you're noticing some of that going on in your brain as you're looking at this. Oh, I've got to make a 10. So let's go ahead and we're going to draw it. Here are those five red birds. And here are seven, five, six, seven brown birds and seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more that are um, yellow. Now it doesn't matter where you take from to get your tent. You could do it from the five and take these three over, or you could take it from the seven and take those three over. I think I'm going to do that because in my brain, I see them just moving over, so that's pretty easy. So seven is three and four more. If I take three of those away, that makes my 10. Plus, let's see what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all together we had 19 birds. That was a busy backyard. Let me show you, this is gonna look exactly the same on Seesaw, but in case you didn't look at yesterday's yet, we'll take a look at it. All right, so here we are at Zoom and at the, um, oh, actually, let's get to the first one that you're gonna do. There we go. So the first problem that you're gonna do, um, I want you to click down on the star and then you'll be able to hear me read the story to you. Will likes to walk to the pond. He saw four frogs, three turtles, and eight dragonflies. How many creatures did he see in all? Well, um, yesterday we were drawing our pictures first, and I know some of you might want to put those numbers in first. So if I go to this box and I click, there we go, I can put my numbers in. So four frogs plus three turtles plus eight dragonflies. Now I can grab my drawing tool and start drawing those. So four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I got small dots, didn't I? I make those a little bit bigger to make it easier for you. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's a little easier to see. Now we'll do three turtles. One, two, three, and eight dragonflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I need to make 10. There's the 10 right there. So I'm going to combine some of these. I'm going to start with my biggest one, eight. I'm going to take two of them here from the three. That's going to leave me one more. So I'm going to go ahead and circle those. I want to use a little smaller pen so that it doesn't cross out the dots. When you're doing this, oops, include that one. <laughs> if your drawings are not perfect, I don't mind. So just like mine there, I know I've got 10 and I'm going to double check it. Make sure I counted right. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. And I have five left. So I'm going to come over here. And oh, I'm using my drawing tool, so I can't click in this box. I could write it if I want. I could write the five or go down to that finger. And that's my select tool. And if I click, it will select that box so I can type in it. 10 plus five more. And that gives me 15. And that means that four plus three plus eight equals 15. Going to be some fun math today. There are three problems for you to do. Let me see if I can stop my recording. There we go. Have fun. Have a good day.